Hi, this is Dr. Bricol, and today I'm going to talk to you about what currently one of my absolute favorite passions, using the phytochemicals found in nutrient-dense foods to combat excessive oxidative stress, which contributes to premature cellular aging. Now, you've probably heard of flavonoids before, and they include more than 8,000 phytochemicals called polyphenols. And they are found in foods we all know and love, such as berries, chocolate, vegetables, and teas. Now, many of the benefits of flavonoids appear to be related to their ability to optimize a number of very important biological signaling pathways. Now, there are loads of randomized controlled trials showing that flavonoids support metabolic and cardiovascular health. There are many absolutely outstanding polyphenols. As I said, there's 8,000 of them, but two of my favorites that I want to discuss today are quercetin and terostilbene. They both actually belong to a subclass of flavonoids called flavanols. Now, of all the flavonoids, quercetin is the most common one in the Western diet. It's a fluorescent yellow powder, and unlike many flavonoids, it is not bitter at all. Now, quercetin is believed to work by activating the NRF2 and FOXO transcription pathways. Now, I know that sounds like a bunch of biochemical alphabetic jargon, but these are two of the most important pathways in your body at, when, and essentially cause your body to produce its own antioxidants or endogenous antioxidants. They cause your DNA to produce glutathione, SOD or superoxide dismutase, and catalase, which can radically decrease oxidative damage to your DNA, cell membranes, and proteins. And unlike swallowing these antioxidants, quercetin produces them hormetically which means they're only made if your body needs them, and thus they won't indiscriminately suppress important free radical signaling pathways. Quercetin also activates NQO1, which increases the conversion of NADH to NAD+, which is one of the most important coenzymes in your body. Now, all these effects help keep the oxidation reduction reactions in your body balanced and not cause damage to your sensitive DNA. The other flavonoid is terostilbene, which is found most commonly in blueberries. Now, terostilbene is virtually identical to resveratrol, with the exception that it's two methyl groups on one of the benzene rings. Now, this makes terostilbene far more fat-soluble and better absorbed. In fact, it has been shown to have four times the bioavailability of resveratrol. You might remember resveratrol being hailed as prolonging life as it activated one of the sirtuin proteins that are believed to be vital in longevity because they regulate such important biological pathways. So in addition to being absorbed 400% better than resveratrol, just like quercetin, terostilbene activates the NRF2 transcription pathway and reduces damaging cytokines. So in summary, these two flavonoids work synergistically to increase intracellular glutathione levels to fight excess oxidative stress and optimize cytokines. Quercetin and terostilbene have been shown to be especially protective of your brain cells, helping your nervous system communicate more effectively. Ideally, you want to eat plenty of organic vegetables and healthy foods to provide most of your flavonoids. But if you feel you aren't getting enough or you need a boost of these powerful flavonoids, then consider taking them to help reduce oxidative stress and help you and your family take control of your health.